I start pulling it. Your hair will finish. guys <laughs> welcome back to another video so in today's video it's still your girl Dema Cynthia yes and then I'm back again with another video another time of talking today we are going to be talking about natural hair yay we're going to be talking about why your natural hair isn't growing yes you heard me right why is it not growing the things you're doing wrong so Mm. the reason number one reason your natural hair isn't growing is patience most of us don't have patience for our natural hair and that's the truth but you know what you need patience for this kind of hair to grow you need patience my hair has been like three to four years now I have this natural hair and this is where we are, we are. I mean I'm grateful it's growing but initially I didn't see this growth I didn't see my hair growing like it looks like it's not growing at all like it's man I was like okay I'm going to I have this thought like of cutting my hair the reason I wanted to cut my hair wasn't because it was not growing actually no that was not the reason the reason is that I have a very tender scalp and any little thing oh god just oh my god the pain is unbearable okay that's why I used to think of it but not any longer since I have I've got my blow dryer you need it in your life as a natural hair hair keeper natural hairist natural anything and as, as a person who keeps natural or something <laughs> so you need it in your life at least once once in two months once in three months maybe it depends on how you want to be adding heat in your hair too much heat number two too much heat is not good for your hair most people always want to stretch out their hair stretch it out do this do that see in the last two years I should say I've never added heat on my hair for the last two years I, I did not add any heat not even blow dry not nothing nothing it's not so good because it made the ends of my hair tangle a lot if I if I do it like this I'll be able to trim it which I have I've already done so this that is it too much heat is not good for your hair it causes head um, yeah hair damage yeah it damages your natural hair so if at all you want to add heat to your hair you need this if you're in Ukraine you'll see this you'll get this I don't know I got this at epicenter in my city ignore the nails also please just focus on what I'm showing you. So, oh, as always, not sponsored. Just showing you what you need. So you need to protect your hair from heat. Let's talk about washing your hair. You need to wash your hair at least once in a week. At least once in a week. I wash my hair every once in a week. Maybe every Wednesday, I usually wash my hair at least. It depends on the protective style. It's into I mean it's in if it's attachment I usually you hardly see me do attachment actually if you know me on this channel if you know me you know that the last time I made I attached something on my hair attachment something like that the last time I did it was last year mm -hmm. last year last year summer so this is a year <laughs> I've not applied any I've not added anything because I want my hair to breathe I want to be able to wash my hair whenever I want to my hair 
doesn't get dirty so easily but i like washing it you know so because you have some residues and then outside is now dusty and dirty you can go out and get some dust in your hair and stuff like that you need to wash it off so you need to wash your hair at least once in a week and another thing is that washing your natural hair is going to take time yes it's not a sharp sharp something it's something you have to bring out time for if it's during school days you know that you are going to be washing your hair at least every saturday saturday it is if you have, you obviously most of us are free on saturdays as students but before i wash my hair i usually go in with this this is botanical okay yeah this is it see it botanical pre shampoo oil it's pre shampoo oil so the first thing you do is sorry about that you pre shampoo your hair with this oil i use oil some people ask some other thing you can use to pre shampoo your hair but this oil i usually use because the reason i use oil for my pre shampooing hair it's not because <clears throat> I don't like any other thing but because I don't like adding oil on my hair not like normally I will get to that but now first of all is that you have to this 99% natural natural origin formula 99% natural so I do first of all put this if I put it I used to usually leave it for at least some minutes yeah usually sometimes use it, leave it for three minutes or four minutes or five minutes it depends then after that i go in to wash with this shampoo none of this thing is sponsored but this shampoo is good for your natural hair seriously this is the only shampoo i think i've used in ukraine that is good for my natural hair it has different different um things i mean different flavors i should say but this one is argan oil it contains argan oil and this is the shampoo so far so good i like this i like this product it's good for my hair like my hair feel renewed like feels good after using it and this is the conditioner but then after you have finished some people make this mistake of not washing your hair like if you use shampoo you focus on the tips of your hair no focus on the scalp of your hair yes that's the place shampoo is made for like focus there you can you can extend it extend it to the tips of your hair but the fact is that it's for the scalp of your hair this but then this the conditioning the conditioner so the conditioner is for the tips and the body of your hair not the scalp that's not your aim that's not your focus focus on the tips of your hair and that's when you start detangling stop combing your hair like you are fighting with your hair no that like you bring comb put it come on i mean i even admire people that does that but it's not good it's actually not good i have a very tender scalp for me to try that kind of thing so i use this big comb it's big but not big enough for my hair it's still paining me or you can use this type of comb but it should be the bigger one i use this but when I'm, i've used this and then i want to go in back to make it better so that's when you detangle your hair when you have put the um, conditioning conditioner then you use um the the first of all finger finger comb it run your finger through it don't just go in with comb no 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 use your finger first then after you have used your finger to to comb it then you use the comb start from the tips don't go from the root of your hair and start pulling it your hair will finish start from the tips of your hair 
and then go 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 to the root to the root of the hair because if you start from the from the root you already know it's going to finish your hair and it's going to be very painful for you then after you're finished what after you're finished applying your shampoo let me tell you another thing shampoo that stays from three this shampoo i mean sorry conditioning conditioner this conditioner they say that leave for three to five minutes three to five minutes is it's not a deep conditioner from 10 to 15 minutes is a deep conditioner so know the difference and also look forward to conditioner which has sulfate or sulfatant sulfate sulfatant okay yeah this you see here it says sulfate free sulfatant Look, any condition, conditioner that has sulfate in it is no good. Sulfate is not good for your hair. So, you after you have deconditioned your hair, don't wash it immediately. Allow it to settle. So this one said three to five minutes. You wait for three to five minutes, then go wash it off. But some says from five to ten minutes. You have to wait from five to, to ten minutes before you wash it off that's different different conditioner and different company or something like that but the five i mean the 10 to 15 minutes is way better than three to five minutes obviously so when you're done washing off your hair there is you need this in your life i don't know if you know this you need this And see it yes you need it to dry your hair you don't need to dry your hair with hard stuff like your towel no your towel is not good for your hair believe me it's hard so whenever you are cleaning your hair if you go back and look at it you see that your hair is stuck there yes it's pulling your hair it's not good so either you use soft t-shirt to dry your hair or you use this you buy this is good i got mine in ukraine also so you can find it somewhere i don't know maybe i got it in watson i guess so so then after you are done with this wash off your hair but when you are you are deep conditioning know that you are doing it session by session not everything at once session it out put deep conditioner or put your conditioner then finger comb it comb it out then twist it out go to another session session by session until you're done that's why i told you that watching your natural hair is not something you do when you're in a rush no 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 you have to take your time because watching this hair usually take me like one to two hours still washing my hair sometimes it used to even last for three hours i'm still <laughs> dealing with my hair Everybody will be like, it's the man now. Yeah, I'm still into this hair. Yes. So it's not something you rush, rush, rush. No, you have to take your time. That is its own problem. So when you are done, I don't have it now. My has finished. You have conditioner. Like leave-in hair conditioner. This is not leave-in hair conditioner, please. This is the one you wash out. There is leave-in hair conditioner. Just take a little and rub it. It gives it moisture, moisture. It moisturizes your hair. Then, when you're done, maybe put it in that protective style, something like that. You're good to go. And another thing is that I said earlier that I don't add oil in my hair. You know why? Not everybody that is that need oil in their hair some people oil they their hair don't don't like oil some people's hair requires oil why some people's hair doesn't like oil you just have to know what your hair requires and what is i have a very very curly hair you guys if you don't know know it my hair is so curly i told you guys i blew out it blew it out that's why it's looking like this it's curly and it's stressing me out like if i can see a way to 
uncall it to make it how would I put it? It's curly and it's annoying because when you are doing it, immediately you are you are trying to finger comb it or comb it, brush it out. It's tangling back, like it's rolling back. It's annoying. It's so annoying, you guys. So, but if you don't have it like me, you're good. You're lucky though. So after you're done with this, just put it in protective style, and you're good. Always buy um I have it's outside I hung it outside I think I washed it your bonnet always put your hair in bonnet you know why it's good because your bed best spread is um is thick I don't know how to put it it's thick it's not good when you put your hair there when you woke up possibility of you seeing your hair on the bed everywhere is too much it's it's high the possibility is high but when you put it inside that bonnet, the bonnet is silky, you know, so it's it cools the hair like uh, you guys. See, I don't know how to explain this, but it's better that you put your hair in protect. I mean, in that. Um, sorry if you hear any noise. I'm filming with natural hair, and you know, if you're filming with natural hair, natural air, natural natural light. <laughs> sorry, you guys. I'm filming with natural light, and my window is open. Everywhere is open. So, any car that passes, you might likely to hear the sound. But sorry about that. So, when you put your hair inside the bonnet at night, it's good. It's very, very good. So, learn, number one, have to be patient with your hair. Number two, you have to wash your hair at least every week, once in a week. Three, you have to calm down while washing your hair. You have to take your time. You just have to take your time and another thing that, let me not forget it please stop combing your hair every time i don't know if, if that makes sense it's breaking your hair learn how to finger comb your hair every time and learn how to <clears throat> put moisturizer water is the best moisturizer ever water I don't know some people I watched some people's video on natural hair they were saying that what you eat matters maybe it matters but for me I don't know what I'm eating that is making my hair grow because it's only rice I eat in Ukraine rice rice maybe rice is the good thing and another thing rice water yes you had rice water some people say it's not good for their hair some say it's good for their hair so you have to be careful what not every i told you because this thing is good for this person does not mean that it will work for yours too we have different hair type we have we have different hair um yeah hair type so what my hair can take your hair might not take it because my hair is too curly it's curly and yours is might not be curly too so but i'm giving you a basic thing that everybody needs not for their hair being patient is for everybody washing your hair every week is is for everybody and um taking your time in washing your hair how to finger comb your hair and use wild to comb for your hair is for everybody but talking about um, oil maybe your hair likes oil mine doesn't like oil because if I put oil in my hair, it goes down and it settles there, then it's it's itchy for me. It makes my hair scalp itchy. I'll keep on itching. I don't like it. I'll rather use water, spray water. Remember, you need to spray water. Even if you want to finger comb your hair, don't just go into it, start combing it. Spray water first. Water is a good moisturizer, so moisturize with water. Even if you have to do it every time, every morning, every afternoon, moisturize with water is good. If your hair needs oil, maybe you should put the oil, mix it with water or something else and be spraying it like better like that way. And rice water, let's go back to rice water. I've tried rice water and I don't know. I don't know if I should say that it's good for my hair because I didn't see any difference that it made probably or maybe because I wasn't consistent with it 
but me i didn't see any changes i wouldn't say okay well, rice water is so good use it i did it but i didn't see any changes maybe there was but i was i didn't notice it so it's not something i will put number one uh, it's something that i might try again maybe trying them once in five months once in three months but not something i will be doing every time every time my friend called me and she was telling me about the rice water that is very good for her hair. I tried it. I didn't see any, any changes anyways. But that does not mean that it's not good. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not saying it's, it's good. I'm saying that you should try it and see if you can see difference. If it makes any difference, maybe you should continue it. Like positive difference. But if you find out that if you use it and your hair is pulling, please stop it anything that you're using and is pulling your hair just stop it talking about it brush using brush to brush your hair it's no good I mean there are some brushes you can use there are different types of brushes there are some that has things on their in their mouth like it holds your hair like drag it out it can pull your hair from the root self I'm not even joking some of them are so hard so whatever you are dealing with even if it's brush make sure it's soft enough for your hair but i would advise that you use this wild tooth comb because it's good like i'm not gonna lie to you like it's good okay so i guess that is it for this natural hair stuff my hair is still growing i grew i i i hope I mean, I hope it's still growing. I hope we're not done. But do you know that we have shrinkage? My hair shrinks like there is no tomorrow. So if you have shrinkage, that does not mean that your hair is not growing. It means that it's even healthy. Unlike when your hair is not shrinking, your hair is not even it's not healthy. So let it shrink. It's fine to shrink. It's okay. It's 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 fine it's good it's it's day okay <laughs> so if your hair shrinks it's okay it's good i'm saying that you should try it and see if you can see difference if it makes any difference maybe you should continue it like positive difference but if you find out that if you use it and your hair is pulling please stop it anything that you're using and it's pulling your hair just stop it talking about it brush using brush to brush your hair it's no good i mean there are some brushes you can use there are different types of brushes there are some that has things on their in their mouth like it holds your hair like drag it out it can pull your hair from the root self i'm not even joking some of them are so hard so whatever you are dealing with even if it's brush make sure it's soft enough for your hair but I would advise that you use this tooth comb because it's good. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it's good. Okay, so I guess that is it for this natural hair stuff. My hair is still growing. I grew, I, I, I hope, I mean, I hope it's still growing. I hope we're not done. But do you know that we have shrinkage? My hair shrinks like there is no tomorrow. So if you have shrinkage, that does not mean that your hair is not growing. It means that it's even healthy. Unlike when your hair is not shrinking, your hair is not even it's not healthy. So let it shrink. It's fine to shrink. It's okay. It's 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 it's, it's fine. It's good. It's it's day. Okay. <laughs> so if your hair shrinks, it's okay. It's good but if you if your hair is always like this looking like this i don't know if uh, without you blow drying it or something like that I, I don't think it's healthy i don't think it's healthy so you guys i guess this will bring us to the end of this video um yeah do all these things and be patient please and uh, another one if you want to blow dry your hair I, I I suggest or I advise you use this. I just use it. It's not looking great. I've not cleaned it. I'll clean it after this. So this I use it, and the the brush kind of 
um, would I call it hot comb? Something like that, anyways. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I I think I prefer it to using um what's it called straightener. But every all of them has their different job they do. Straight now, like straighten the hair, straighten it and give it length. But this one will just puff the hair, mean blow it out. I guess that is it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, please, please, please don't forget to drink water. Water is good for your system. <laughs> yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this i hope you do all these things and have patience your hair will grow it's so great to get there it's, it's a gradual process it's not something you just wake up and boom it's not magic okay so it will take its time and it will grow thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoyed it any of any of the above so please don't forget please don't forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe okay and leave your notification bell on okay and share with your friends that has natural hair your family that has natural hair your everybody in fact share with yourself with your, with your friends everybody around you make sure they watch till the end yes so please um i'm still your girl the mustn't yeah thank you so much and god bless you till next time love you minute